How's it going, you ponies? It's Echoes here. So, here I am playing a bit of TDM on Siege. I was thinking, right, I've got an hour left to play. I want to get this freaking Loki, see what it's all about. So, I play pretty much 90% of the time playing uh, Search and Rescue with I Blast Off. So, you don't really get many opportunities to rock the Loki. So, I thought, here we go. Let's do it. I've got an hour left to play. Let's do it. So, first match I got into, I got this one. And I've got to say, Loki is so poor. I was really disappointed. I don't know if you guys feel the same. This is pretty much why I want to get out in this video. Do you guys feel the same way about the Loki? Have you guys got it? What do you think about it? So this is obviously the offensive Loki. You get the uh, support Loki as well, which is completely different. Um, so we're going to get to it in a second, but I just wanted to leave this little bit of Helo Pilot fun as I was uh, talking about it. So yeah, as you can see here, I'm getting pretty bored by this rate. I'm just like... Yeah, right, come on, where's my Loki? Just want to finish this so I can go and test it out. I was actually genuinely really excited. Like, really excited. You see, look, I actually spin around now. Wait for it, wait for the spin. There it is. Oh, look at the spin of excitement. Who does that anymore? So I was like, I'm going to bust the Loki. Get see how it happens. Just get this little screen. Just get this tiny little screen. What's this all about? Drop a care package. Yeah, nice. Great. I've seen it on YouTube. I thought it'd be more fun than this. I thought when people were talking over it, there was some like, really dramatic like noise, music, explosions, virgins sacrificing themselves on the screen in front of you. But no, nothing. Look, you just get like dropping juggernauts and shit for your team. I was like, yeah, that's all well and good because you get the points for the juggernaut kills. Or whatever they get goes to your score, which is pretty awesome. But you get basically a small rod. What's your freaking Pokemon? I don't want a small rod or a big rod. I just want to, like, bring down death and destruction from the sky. Like, napalm and God knows what else. Look at it! Look at the... Listen to the noises! Nothing! Nothing! There's no noise! It's like freaking listening to a biscuit. That's how bad it is. Anyway, guys. So, after this, I want to say, have you guys got a Loki? Do you think the same way as me? Or what is your favourite killstreak so far? Because I I'm pretty happy with the freaking Elo pilot. He's awesome. Rock him any day. So yeah, thoroughly disappointed with the, the Loki so far. But this is the first map I've used it on. So quite surprising, really. Now, don't get me wrong. The support it gives your team is actually pretty decent. If you imagine you're dropping these Loki missiles from the sky and the care packages, really supporting your team and completely overwhelming the enemy, you also get this juggernaut that walks around. So here we go. Here's my little man. All right, mate. He walks around getting kills and getting points that all go to me. So really cool. A little example, go around the corner, this guy tries to take me out, but no, Juggernaut takes him down, I get the points, and the kill. I'm just saying that using the Loki itself is really underwhelming. Think back to the days of Modern Warfare 2, when you first get that chopper gun or AC-130, you feel like the freaking Don of the map, you feel like God. But I guess if you take a deeper look into it, you can see how Infinity was making this massive push towards team play mentality, making the biggest kill streak on the Assault Package. More of a support kill streak in effect. Because you see the way Loki works, when you drop the freaking rod missiles, whatever it calls it, you don't really do that much damage with them. It's more of the after effect of what the Loki does. Dropping down care packages, the juggernauts, the kind of aftershock of the Loki. So it's different, but is it good? Is it something that you guys actually want to use in Call of Duty Ghost? Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know what is your favourite killstreak in the game so far, whether it be the Loki or something completely different, I'd like to know. Uh, this video is done and dusted, so please leave your support if you can. Leave those likes, leave those comments. If I know you guys like it, I really like doing these kind of breakdown videos. So if I know you guys like it, I will gladly make more. Also, Xbox One in a couple of days. Can't believe it. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching the video again, guys. Speak to you soon. Adios.